Rectangle UV tool. With Rectangle UV tool, you can very easily apply UV map or draw UV map uh, on the object in a 3D viewport. And at the same time, you can apply also material. So when you not apply material, you're editing just UV map, active UV map. If you use apply material, you can at the same time change all the material of this uh, modified area. Great feature of this tool is that you can apply it on multiple objects. If nothing is selected, then you are editing just object which you are hit with a first click when you apply a rectangle UV tool. So this uh, object is automatically selected. If you pre-select more objects, and then apply. You can edit all of these selected objects at once with a single single use of the tool. This tool has three basic mapping modes: polygon, plane, and project. In polygon mode, after first click, we define which polygon will be mapped, and UV map is then limited only to that particular polygon. So this is quick way how you can put. UV map and material on certain polygons. Second plane mapping, I will rather select all objects. And when you apply plane mapping, then from all selected objects, when you create first rectangle, all polygons which lies with, within this plane of this rectangle are mapped. So this is why it's called uh, plane mapping. So by this way we can easily map the whole surfaces, all flat surfaces with multiple polygons and from multiple objects. This is very useful mode. The third is a projection mode or project mode. With this mode from source rectangle, all polygons which are facing angle under the threshold are, are mapped. So in this case, there is only one. When I set back projection mode, it will set all the opposite polygons to this, uh, to this uh, source rectangle. And when we adjust the angle threshold with a bigger angle, we can map also some more. As you can see, bigger angle threshold, uh, more polygons are fitting into, into this projection. And because Rectangle UV tool is running on standard Rectangle tool from a Live with Cat, we have all the benefits of the rectangle tool. So we can use center corner rotate mode for mapping. So let's say I will use polygon mapping on this particular polygon and I can switch to rotate mode and adjust the UV map directly to this polygon. So it lies with this special angle. We can also use the fix button. So when I froze this dimension of rectangle, you can reuse in on different place. So you can reapply same angle, same, uh, same uh, size. And uh, what is uh, most beneficial of this, uh, the size, U and V size of rectangle UV tool is shared with quad UV mapper. So with this rectangle UV tool, you set UV size and then you can use quad UV mapper and same U and V size are reapplied with this additional UV map tool. Now let's take a look to quad UV mapper. Quad UV mapper was originally designed for mapping walls and objects made from quads. So you click on first quad and then you expand, expand, expand selection to other quads or all quads. As you notice, uh, or maybe not, uh, this quad mapper is using now same UNV dimensions which we have set before with rectangle tool as I, as I showed you before. 
and it works pretty well. After this first version, we expanded the functionality of Quad UV Mapper. So now you can run UV Mapper on even a more complicated objects. So I will drill a couple of holes here into this wall to make it more different from quads. So now these uh, these walls are not just quads, but uh, also polygons with holes and uh, multiple point polygons. And quad mapper still can recognize the original quads from these polygons. So this is one of the advancements of quad mapper. It it's called quad mapper, but it actually uh, can map uh, objects other than quads. Also these modified walls and some of specific objects uh, made of triples, such as this conic roof. So it recognizes also these triples. It recognizes it as a quad, only with one zero edge. And now you can expand to other triples and make quad UV mapping on this conic roof. On this simple ball, I will show you some additional parameters which helps you to tweak mapping with quad mapper. So we will use the Atlas map. And on this Atlas map, uh, if we use stretch U and stretch V, it means that the picture is stretched on the selection made of quad mapper. So now we can see the whole picture and we can flip orientation horizontal, vertical, with these neat open jaw buttons very quickly. And also we can flip the orientation of a picture along U, along V. So this is pretty quick and a very useful uh, options. And finally, I will expand this map as it should be as a planet. So you can see, you can map also even planets with quad mapper. Finally, random UV tool, very useful tool when you need to randomize UV maps on repeated objects. So it takes all objects, all selected objects from scene and it recognizes in each object separate connected objects. Uh, in this case, separate object is each tile as a separate object. And it takes all these objects and maps and when you apply random UV tool, you can randomize offset along U, offset along V, rotation and a little bit scale. As a result, you can see the tiles are completely randomized and uh, there is no uniformity. You can use this very well on anything what is repeated and uh, it is very useful too for uh, making Arquis models more realistically UV mapped.